Ooh, that door's not opening. Well, that's kind of weird. But, uh, anyway, uh, hey guys, Alex here. As you just saw, I just got off the 924 Victoria Park Express. It was just a 50 second ride. As to get here, I took the 953 from from a Fitch station and then I decided to transfer on to the 924. I could have walked here because it's only two blocks away, but uh, yeah, I think I just wasted some time <laughs> by waiting like 10 minutes. I don't know. I mean, it's, I mean, it's hot anyway, so anyway, uh, we're here at the intersection of Victoria Park Avenue and Gordon Baker Road here in North York. Toronto, I guess you can call this the northeast end of the city. Well, not actually, not literally, but uh, I guess you can call it that. And this is a pretty uh, industrial, uh, commercialized area with mostly uh, single and multi level offices. And the main reason why I wanted to this walking video is not only because, you know, this is full of uh, uh, business parks and offices, but uh, there's a branch of the 42 Comer. That'll, that'll be discontinued after today, and I'll explain that later on. But uh, after uh, some consecutive days of overcast, uh, overcast weather and on and off rain, we finally get some sun, even though it's like 24 Celsius. And actually, it's supposed to be the exact same way for the next seven days. So ending our spring and starting summer, which begins next week. Oh, look at that. There's a Canadian flag in the distance. Okay, not the distance, but I just didn't even notice it. But anyway, so we're walking west here. And then eventually it's going to run parallel to the to uh, Highway 404. And I'm going to, and although it continues all the way down to Finch, I'm actually going to end this off at McNichol Avenue as uh it's a hella long walk down to Finch. And look, we got one, two, three, four, six geese all in one group. Actually, it might be seven. Let me see again. I think I miscounted here. Yep, it's seven. I see a lot of geese in the office areas. Or office parks. I know that's a. I know that's an American term, but uh, in the general, like northern outskirts of a city, that's what they call them. I think. What's up, guys? Let me uh, grab a picture here. As this guy is like honking. I don't know why he's honking like that. It's not like I'm. Gonna, it's not like I'm close to them. But if I go extremely close to them, then they'll start like. Chasing you, giving you shit and stuff. Yeah, so again, I took the 953 Express from Finch, and I took the, uh, as these guys just saw, I, I got out the 924. But I also could have took the 42C here. But uh, I just I just chose not to. But uh, that branch pretty much loops from, um, loops via... Victoria Park and then Gordon Baker and Harold Evans back down to McNichol and heads west of Finch. Now, the reason why they're discontinuing that branch after today, again, it's it's a rush hour only branch. It's, uh, in fact, today is Friday, June the 16th, 2023. So as of now, people are probably starting to head home from work. And look, we got an office here. Maybe after, maybe after I finish my video, I'll probably head back up to uh, Either walk back up or take the bus, and I'll quickly film some elevators, and then uh, I'll film a ride on the 42 heading back to Finch. But again, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, explain. But uh, the C branch is discontinuing is because there's reduced ridership from stops along this branch, and also you can, and also uh, both the 42 and 39 C. Finch branches, they they also loop through here. But what's the point? Because uh, because both these routes begin at Finch Station, right? 
respectively. And obviously the 39, it, it sees a lot more ridership than uh, the 42C because the 42, it's mostly a residential route. And, and just looping around here, and I guess for, for some employees, bus operators, doesn't really make sense. And look, there's the, uh, the uh, TTC Centennial Shirt I'm Rocking Gunner from Laura Bay. In fact, uh, I was riding the subway to Finch, and this uh, off-duty TT, well, he's still wearing his uniform, but he's still off-duty, but probably heading to work or somewhere. Anyway, before, getting off at Sh before he got off at Shepard Young, uh, he, he took notice of my shirt, so he's like, hey, I like your shirt. I was like, thank you. And he's like, where you got it from? Weston Road? Now, obviously, I didn't say it was him, but why would you get something like this from friggin' Weston Road? No, I, I, t I simply told him I got it from, as I just mentioned, I got it from Lower Bay. And he's like, I wish, I wish they gave me a shirt like that. And I don't blame you. But at least there's many uh, people like him. It's not like he's pretty proud of the company he works at. Even though, you know, obviously as an operator, you know, <laughs> you're going to face obstacles and interesting people. So, yeah, shout out to him. Oh, and for, I forgot to mention, uh, or actually I had forgotten, there's an IKEA warehouse uh, right here. Look, there's a bustling over on the 39. 30, 3200! Well, hello, we meet once again. That's on uh, the list, that's on my long list of uh, actual units I've been on. And that's based out of McNichol. Garage. And he is leaving now. <laughs> as soon as I walk up, well, I'm obviously I'm not taking that bus, so what do I care? And again, and again, you got two options to get back to Finch. You got this one or the 42, but obviously after today, you, you got the 39. So apparently this is Yamaha's uh, head office, if I'm not mistaken. I have a feeling there's an elevator inside, but it says private property. You know, these big corporations, they have like Titan security inside. So I don't think I'm going to give a chance. Oh, he's moved over there. Or not. Okay, I think he, he might have picked up a passenger. Anyway, here's Highway 404. It is one of many 400 series highways up owned by uh, the province of Ontario. And then uh, at the 401, it, bec it becomes a DVP, which is owned by the city of Toronto. The 404 will essentially take you into Markham and the small townships of Aurora and Newmarket, East Grillenbury. And there's the IKEA warehouse. I want to get a thumbnail here, but so many gosh darn vehicles. Okay, this is a good one. You got the, uh, you got the sign here. In fact, we have an there's an IKEA there's actually there's an actual IKEA store not too far from here at uh, Leslie and Shepherd. I'm, I'm I don't know if I I think I'm assuming that's for like smaller like items. Well, actually, there's a, there's already going to be another IKEA store at Scarborough Town Center. But uh, yeah, I don't know how I don't know how long that's been here, but. Uh, Also, beware of the uh, noise pollution as well, because obviously you got a highway. So I haven't filmed uh, any elevators. Well, I mean, I filmed one on Tuesday, but as a whole, in general, I haven't really filmed much. So I think, uh, I think uh, now, I think after my walking video, I'm just gonna roam around the area. And also, I got plenty of time because it's only the beginning of rush hour, so... I think I'll head straight home after I'm done here. Must be some birds fighting in there. I got many options, but again, it's technically private property. I'm not really supposed to be on here, but... Nah, I'm sure some people won't care, but I, I, always, I always make sure to... Uh, 
I always look at, like take a quick peek inside, make sure there's no security there, and then I could do my thing and then head back out. Because only a couple of times I was in there, and I've even though I evaded security, they still came back out and saw me. That was in two respective buildings. I mean, they didn't. I mean, I, I didn't have my phone out for filming at the time, so. I gotta be extremely careful when I'm doing this type of stuff. What is this building here? I don't know if, I don't, this doesn't look like an office to me here. This office here is for, it's probably an office building, but, cause look, it says here is for lease. Yeah, I'm sure these big box office buildings, they just have like tight security and shit, so. But that one office building that I, I had the start of video, that's probably something I could look at. Oh, and I also, I think, I think down the stretch, uh, if you keep going down, there's a couple more high-rise offices. Actually, like that one up ahead. They probably have like, like head offices for like Dell, Acer in Canada. I could be wrong, but, uh, when I pat when, when me and my dad used to drive along this highway going to Markham, actually I went to uh, George's Trains. I would always take notice of that. Hello, Mr. Robin. Say, look, Dell. Dell's here. I remember the old days of Dell uh, PCs, especially in elementary school, and every one of them in my computer lab, they all ran Windows XP, and then eventually they switched it over to Windows 7. And this is Harold Evans Crescent, so that's where both buses turn. I could continue, but... Eh, should I? Because, I mean, I'm following the path of the buses, but also, there's McNichol Road, so... Unless I find a way to get back up, then I have no problem. But the thing is, I've only been filming for 13 minutes. If I, if I veer off onto Harold Evans, I think this video stole a hole is going to be titled Walking Gordon Baker Road. I mean, it, it continues south of McNichol, but uh, there's nothing else to see after, so. And also, since I'm a bit early, I'm going to just use, take my time and uh, go and hunt for some elevators while I'm here, so. I mean, I've I already got a lot of elevator videos that are dated back to over a month ago, because that's pretty much shows that I have a lot to film, that, that I filmed, and probably a few more. Anyway, I guess we'll continue here and uh, see where this will take me. Unifor. That company is very familiar. Hey, is that a Viva bus stop? Oh, that's probably for the uh, the green and pink, which are both suspended and have been probably since the pandemic. But there's one right there. Is it for the green or the purple? I know both of them go to Don Mills station. Or what am I thinking of? What the hell am I thinking of? Maybe we'll check here and see. Viva Green. You can tell by uh, the color. That's pretty much symboling the, the line. S yep, suspended until further notice. That'll take you directly to Don Mills Station.
might be a little more to see here. Ooh. So now we got an office complex here. Card access, yeah. I'm not gonna take a chance to go inside here. I'm probably guessing you need card access to get in there. Obviously, I don't work here, so. <laughs> what would I do that? I'm probably guessing that the elevators inside have been modernized as well. question is oh okay so that does this sidewalk end up ahead if it does I'm gonna wrap up the video so now I've been filming for a good amount of time and I'll have to find a way to get to McNichol which is again behind me Also, I'm not on private property yet, but once I cross over, I will be. So, nope, I'm not bringing my camera inside. Hey, look, there's a D40 LF. I wrote one of those last, uh, no, three weeks ago. On the uh, 14, and there's a guy in there. I don't know if he works here or not, but... Okay, so the sidewalk does continue. What are they building here? I'm guessing another office. That's pretty much what it looks like here. All right, I think I'm on the verge of ending this. I don't think there's anything else to see here. And nope, there isn't. So, uh, I mean, it continues down the finch, but I will be continuing. I'm going to wrap it up now and start hunting for some elevators while I'm at it. So guys, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well. And stay cool, stay safe, enjoy your summer. And Oh, by the way, if you've seen this by now, I'm actually heading to Montreal for the third time in my life next month. So lots of more videos to come from there. So hope you're looking forward. Thanks for watching. And... Adios. Bye-bye.